Hey guys, it's Marian, your technology friend. Today, we're going to talk about five tips on how to maintain your iPhone battery health at 100%. Whether you're doing it to prolong your iPhone's life as much as possible or preserving resale value, it is always a good idea to maintain your battery health as healthy as possible, especially since replacing the battery of an iPhone is expensive and it needs to stay in the service center for seven to 14 days. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've been using an iPhone for a while now and one thing that I always see on other people's iPhone that I don't see on mine is that their battery health is always lower than mine. Now, I don't think I necessarily take very good care of the battery of my iPhone, but I managed to keep my old iPhone 10's battery at 100% for a year. Currently though, I use an iPhone 11 and it is at 98% battery health after 10 months of usage. And I think I know exactly why I wasn't able to maintain it at 100% and that it is totally related to how I use my phone. So after years of experience and tons of research, I've collected five tips on how to maintain your iPhone battery health. So let's go to the first tip. Tip number one, avoid heat. Now, the reason for this is because battery usually degrades in two ways. One is charge cycles, which is inevitable and normal. And number two, heat, more specifically, very hot temperatures. But how can your phone get so hot that it degrades your battery health? Well, scenarios could be leaving your phone under the sun or leaving your phone in the car that is under the sun or playing games. Wait, what? You mean games can create so much heat that it will degrade my battery health? To answer that question, yes and no. No for the games that are simple and not graphically intensive, but yes to games such as Mobile Legends, PUBG, or Call of Duty, especially when your graphic settings is at the highest and your frame rate is set to maximum. The reason for this is that high graphical games make your processor work a lot harder, which then generates more heat, which then degrades your battery health. But the good news is you don't need to quit gaming just to preserve your battery health. How? And that segues to my second tip. Tip number two, lower your game settings. Since heat is generated when your CPU or processor works hard, let's help it not work as hard by lowering your game settings. So how do I know this? Like I said a while ago, I was able to maintain my iPhone X battery at 100% because I did not game at all. But then on my iPhone 11, I was playing games like Mobile Legends or Call of Duty and they were all at maximum settings and that degraded my battery health to 99%. Because of that, my phone really, really got hot. So I tried to do one thing, which is lower my graphical settings. And the result, my phone got barely hot. So if you're not too snob about graphics quality, try bringing it down a notch. Tip number three, don't use wireless chargers. Yes, you heard me right. Don't use wireless chargers, but like what you saw, there is an asterisk. So the thing about wireless charging is that it generates more heat compared to regular wired charging. So if you're in a country that has very, very hot temperatures like the Philippines, I don't recommend using a wireless charger unless your room is always air conditioned. Remember when I said my iPhone battery went from 100% to 99% because of gaming, but currently my iPhone 11 is at 98%. Yep, my phone's battery health actually degraded from 99% to 98% because of wireless charging. So it was like one day I woke up, picked up my phone from the wireless charger, which is this one, and it's super hot. And definitely when I picked it up, the first thing I took a look at was my battery health and to my surprise, 98%. So that one stung a little bit because I paid 1000 pesos for that charger and it actually degraded my phone battery health. So. Tip number four, remove your case when your phone gets hot. So this one might be a little obvious, but I'm gonna throw it out anyway. If your phone is super hot and you have a case, you know, try removing that case first so that your phone gets cooler faster. That is the same reason why I don't recommend putting cases in laptops because cases are made of hard plastic. It traps heat tremendously and this consequently degrades your laptop a lot faster. Although definitely if you're going to go caseless, take care of your laptop, especially if it's a Mac, because those are expensive. Tip number five, turn on optimized battery charging. So the reason why this feature came to be is that your phone actually degrades faster when your phone is always charged at 100%. 
So what this does is that it stops your phone from charging past 80% and only fills 80% to 100% when let's say you're about to wake up or when you're about to go. But to be honest, this never worked for me. I always turn it on, but it never worked for me. Maybe because I don't have a very regular work schedule or wake up time, but it's worth a shot to try on your phone since it can potentially prolong your battery life. Bonus tip, charge your phone overnight. Now, I know I just said that your phone degrades faster when it's actually charged to 100% all the time. But the thing is, in my experience, I actually charge my phone overnight always since 2015. Now, my theory is if you don't charge your phone overnight, your battery percentage, you know, goes down, right? Then because it goes down, you have to charge again and that creates charge cycles. Remember when I said there are two causes for battery degradation, which is heat and also charge cycles. So that's the first cause of battery degradation. So I think charge cycles is worse in battery degradation versus just leaving your phone charged overnight at 100%. It's just worse of the two evils. All right, so those are five tips and one bonus tip. I don't know why I didn't just make it six tips. I really hope that this video helped you out. And if it did, consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel so you can get more tips like this every week. Also, comment down below if you have tech questions that you want me to answer in the coming week. But besides that, that is it for me. I've been Marion, your technology friend, and I'll see you guys in the next video.